But to answer your Phoenix, your Phoenix Phenomenon deal, is the Phoenix Phenomenon cannot be identifiable by a single trait. All, well, what's mainly identifiable is its timing. And because I am a, I've always specialized in chronology, you say from a young age that was my, that was my, my passion. It was, it was God or the enemy of the Demiurge or, or this great, this great entity outside the simulacrum was the one that influenced me to go to prison. And because only from prison was I able to acquire the necessary education that I needed, I would have never got at Yale, at Harvard, at Princeton, at any of the at any of the prestigious universities you know around the world. This type of education that I got was purely, in my opinion, from the divine. It's the ability to read thousands of books in peace at my leisure, to data mine them, to send my research notes home to where they, were, they would be collected and stored in an attic until the day I got out. 9,545 days later. I spent the first six months I was out just going through my notes and organizing them all before I had a friend start Nephilim Archives. Nephilim Archives is the origin of the group you know of on Facebook now as Archaics. And it was Stephen Walsworth who was basically one of the very first members of Nephilim Archives. And he and I started up a friendship. And, and uh, many other people have joined since. But the great destructions of the of, of the Americas for the Phoenix episode were in two two periods in history. One was in the old Bronze Age, and then it, and then in the new Bronze Age, it continued a little bit in the days of the Olmeca, scattering the Olmeca to later become the Maya and the Zapotecs. But the next great destructions in the Americas ended the Mayan civilization so 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 much that we have almost no record. And I have released though I have released that data too in posts and archaics and, and on uh, uh, in some of my videos I've given fragments. But I have a I have a crap load of notes that have never been published. I just have to put them together. I need the time. It's a you guys know that I'm struggling. It's a, I make no secret of it. It's a, I'm trapped in that debt slave deal. I have to I have to work to pay bills and working takes away from the time that I can coalesce data and put it together, man, and post it. I do the best that I can with the time that I have. I don't have much of a free a free life because it's either working to make money and then in my free time I'm posting or I'm doing videos or I'm doing or I'm putting research together for new posts in the future. This is my life and I'm cool with it. And every once in a while I can even enjoy some modello and my green olives because I do love green olives. So in answer to your question, the the worst, the worst cataclysm that ever befell the Americas was 2239 BC. You know what? I, I don't want to make that assertion. It was bad. And we have records of how we have records of the migrations in the, in the 21st century, 22nd century BC. But you know what? I do know that there was a worse cataclysm in 3895 BC, year one of the old world's Annus Mundi calendar, which was year one of the 1656 years of the pre-flood world. That was pretty bad too.